Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Sublime Slimes, which is an Etsy slime shop with 5 stars. And I ordered 12 slimes, which were all 30% off, which was a good deal. This is when it was ordered, shipped, and when it was delivered, which was a decent amount of time considering it was pretty far. And I'm super excited. They're all 6 ounce slimes and I ordered 12 in total, which is one of the most slimes I've ever ordered from a shop. Now this packaging was super super nice and it was really exciting to pick out the slimes and get a sneak peek of them through the baggies and they were each wrapped individually and I actually got an extra slime which was super nice as well as a spray bottle of activator and I just love this package so much it came with my invoice it came with a slime care card with instructions and it was very detailed and I really enjoyed this package. It was very well thought out and it was super nice. Aside the slimes, they included a few extra things like my order slip, a slime care card with instructions which is super nice especially for people who are ordering for the first time. That's very important to have. The baggie had a wristband their card with their social media information a borax baggie which is really cute and professional and nicely labeled a swedish fish candy and a dropper for when you use the borax i thought this time lapse of me unpacking the slimes from the bags were really satisfying to watch and i'm just really happy with how they all turned out and i love the labels in the containers but i'll get into that later and everything just looks super nice together and i love all the bright colors Here they all are and they all look so nice and colorful and I love the labels once again. I love the logo. It's super cute and professional. They included this super nice bottle of activator for when slime gets sticky which is super generous and very convenient. First up we have Funfetti Crispies which is a DIY butterfist slime and it is a snow fist topped with clay and rainbow foam beads and I think the slime was executed really cute and it's really soft and inflating and the foam beads add the perfect touch and they really make it look like a Rice Krispie treat and I love the color of it, it also matches the name perfectly. And the scent is not my favorite, but it's not bad. This is the type of texture that you really kind of have to work with a bit, but I prefer that over it being sticky, because normally clear slimes arrive sticky, but this one was activated perfectly. And once you work with it, it inflates really nicely, and it gets a lot softer and a lot stretchier, and the foam beads stay in better. This one is super addicting to play with and I often see myself reaching for this one and playing with it for a long, long time. This one is Unicorn Cake and this is a super beautiful DIY clay slime. 
But instead of a thick and glossy base like normal, the base is like an icy slime that is blue and pink, which is beautiful. And it's topped with kind of a cloud cream-ish clay slime that's really pretty dark purple, which is kind of what the slime turned into. And it also is topped with these pretty sprinkles. This slime is scented birthday cake, and let me tell you, this slime smells amazing. And even though I don't like the color purple, it turned into a really beautiful color. And I love the overall texture. It is a really spreadable and creamy cloud cream that is super fun to play with. And it was so beautiful to watch the colors mix. And the unicorn charm was a really nice touch. It was really beautiful, and it went really perfectly with the colors. And it just completed the look of this slime. Here we have one of my favorite out of all of them, and this is Orange Julius, which is another DIY clay fizz, and it's topped with white clay and some orange glitter, which ties it together, and it's scented orange juice. I really love the scent. It is, smells really nice and orangey, and I love orange scents and orange slimes, and this was just a really nice slime. A lot of videos that I've seen of it, it comes sticky, but this was activated perfectly. And this is also one of the ones you have to work with, but it was a little more stretchy than the other one. And it puffs up really nicely and it's super holdable and soft. And I highly recommend this slime. I often play with this and it's definitely one of my favorites. And this one as well as the other one inflates a ton, but it makes sense. Everything about it is inflatable, the clear base, the snow flizz aspect, and the clay aspect. Everything about it means that it's very inflating. And I really love it. I usually don't like clay and clear slimes, but this is a super nice texture. And it's really fun to play with. This is chocolate chip cookie butter, and I love the whole appearance of this slime, meaning the label, just the look of it, the charm. It's all super cute, and it completes the slime very well, and I was really excited for this slime. I'm going to be honest, out of the package, this is, I think, my least favorite slime. The texture is not terrible or anything. It's just not my favorite. It was like a little like kind of weird. It didn't really feel that much like a butter slime. Kind of felt like it had clear slime in it, but it wasn't terrible. It wasn't like rippable or anything. It was pretty stretchy. It was decent and I like the way it looks. I like the cubes in it. It's different and unique and it makes it look more realistic. But the main reason I didn't like it is because of the scent. I was looking forward to like a chocolatey scent at least or a cookie dough scent. But instead, it smells like hair grease to me, which was disappointing. But overall, the slime is decent, but not my favorite.
on a more positive note this charm is super cute and it looks really nice with this slime and i love the color of this one i'd say it's spot on and i definitely love it like appearance wise i'm just really sad about this scent again but it's not the worst slime On to Lemon Line Shaved Ice. This is a two-tone snow fizz topped with a yellow one. And it has a green one on the bottom. And it has lemon female slices and green sprinkles to complete the look. And oh my god, you guys, I absolutely love everything about this lime. I love the appearance, the texture, the scent, the final color, the colors that it came in. I just love this lime so much. I've said this before and I'll say it again, I do not like the color green, but this green that it turned into is absolutely beautiful. It is so neon and refreshing looking. It represents the name perfectly and the add-ins add the perfect touch. And this texture is so good. Like snow fizzes are one of my favorite textures. As you guys know, I love crunchy slimes. I've said it many times. And this one is so good. It's so nice. It's not sticky at all. It's perfectly activated out of the container. This slime was just incredible. It's definitely one of my favorites out of the whole package. I love this slime so much and I highly recommend. Here we have Vanilla Funfetti, and this is another one that's not my favorite. Again, there's nothing wrong with this lime. This is supposed to be a cloud dough, and it is topped with these really cute rainbow foam beads. And I love the color. It really looks like cookie dough or even like cake batter. I like the appearance. It just has a lot of foam beads, which like affects the texture and... I was looking forward to, you know, fluffy cloud dough because I love cloud doughs and cloud creams and slimes like that. But this one was almost more like a icy almost. And I don't know, the texture was not my favorite, but I didn't hate it. Also, the scent wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't bad either. So the slime wasn't the worst, but it wasn't my favorite out of the package.
overall i highly recommend sublime slimes these slimes were super nice and it was a really good experience i have part two coming soon with a lot more slimes to come and i would order from their shop again i really recommend thank you so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe